Welcome back, you guys. Good morning. Matt here with Zero Carb Journal, episode 81 today. <laughs> and good morning. How are you guys? Happy Sunday. What a day, huh? It is so beautiful this morning, you guys. It's just still a little breeze rustling the, the trees here. Really warm out. And uh, here we go. Coming into summer here. <laughs> um, how are you guys? Did you have a good week? Hope you had a great one. I had an awesome week. Super good. Um, been raining here all week, actually. Rained pretty hard all week. So I... Um, Started the week, I finished my fish pond, kicked my own butt, that was great. Um, got real worn out, <laughs> moving rocks and finishing that off. Um, I gotta show it to you, it looks great. I'm gonna give it a little bit of time to filter out. It's pretty green because I got it circulating through the old pond. But that was the first part of the week, that was great. Did a, uh, went and checked on my boat and it's coming along good, but not quite done. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna go down there and we're gonna turn her on, start her up for the first time. and. Hopefully, I'm going to wash my hands of that project, I think, tomorrow. Maybe we'll, we'll see, but uh, in the next couple days. But this week, I just kind of checked in on that, did my pond, and then I started tackling my new stove project, which is great, because that's my last kind of big thing on my list this summer that I want to get done. And I'm about halfway through it. I had a great day yesterday, um, moving bricks, laying bricks again, tiring myself out, kneeling all day, and carrying heavy stuff. Um, but really stoked that I got to it, um, really making some progress, moving forward pretty quickly, checking some things off my list. So, so yeah, so I had a great week. So from a zero carb perspective, let's talk about food and stuff. You guys know I've been um, continuing to experiment and continuing to learn about what makes me feel best um, and continuing to have ups and downs. Um, as you know, I'm still 100% committed to this way of eating. It makes me feel the best. But yeah, this week I um, I went, uh, like I said last week, I've been trying to cut down on eating uh, uh, the amount that I eat in any one sitting. So I continued that this week. I pretty much, I think, did I, I just ate ribeye all week. I might have eaten a little bit of bacon. I did eat some bacon. Um, but for the most part, I just ate ribeye, and I tried to eat three meals a day in smaller portions, and it worked pretty well. I've been feeling pretty darn good. Um, now, I did... Uh, get really hungry one day, like I thought was going to happen, because I just haven't been having those big meals that I usually, um, that I've noticed I need to have occasionally, I guess, and I was afraid that I would need to have, and sure enough, I did, I got real hungry, and I pigged out one day, and I felt okay, I could tell I'd eaten too much, it kind of upset my stomach, but I didn't get sick, um, and it, uh, it affirmed the idea that this is working for me, that this is a pretty good process as long as I can eat enough um, in a day by eating little bits throughout the day. So yeah, I've been feeling good. I didn't get sick this week. How about that, you guys? I didn't, I, now that I think about it, I didn't get up once during the night and vomit or anything like that. So um, pretty good week. New eating regimens working pretty well. Like I said, I did get hungry and did want to stuff myself with some food. and um, So I'm kind of figuring that out. It just was a pretty pretty good week from that standpoint. My energy was great. Um, I just, I really, I got so much done this week. I've had a wonderful week. Um, like I said, getting back to things on my list and, and goals I've had. One of the fun things I did this week that I finally found some time to do is I, I broke out my sewing machine. I started making some, um, I've been wanting for a long time to make a heavy canvas work bag for my tools. I've had one that was a sailing bag and I've just about worn it out and I've had a lot of ideas about how to improve on that so I've um, it took, I've been wanting to do it for a long time but it, the materials were expensive the canvas and thing and leather and stuff like that and I just never really wanted to pull that trigger but um, but I did this week I started kind of re-inspiring myself into I guess what I'd say you know be a new hobby it's not really new I've always enjoyed making things like that useful items I've liked sewing and um, but like I said, I just haven't done anything like it for a long time. So this week I actually did. I made myself a little toiletries kit in the in the interest of practice because I'm pretty bad and it's it's there's a lot of new skills I'm learning working with leather and heavy materials. So that's been fun. I, I did. I really was proud of myself for sitting down and tackling a new um, undertaking like that. And I'm I'm hoping to make myself some some travel 
gear. I want to make a new backpack and um, like I said, my tool bag is my main goal, but then once I started looking at things I could make to practice that, those skills, I was like, oh, I could make a cool backpack and a, I don't know, whatever, travel stuff. So, um, pretty stoked on that. So yeah, making tons of progress. And here I am just rambling, you guys, as always. I really, I don't have a whole lot of zero carb stuff to share. I do have one little tidbit, um, which I'll get to here. So, so yeah, so I hope you guys are doing good, by the way. So much about me. Kind of a one-sided conversation here, I guess. That's the nature of YouTube. Um, but, so, <clears throat> the week was good. I just, like I said, I dug in, um, made a lot of progress on, on some personal goals, had great energy, and really was was able to take on more, you know, like I said, my new hobby, and, and I felt ready to tackle that, um, which I really, that's that doesn't sound like a big deal, but, you know, for the last few years, I've been trying to get rid of things for years, for three years, four years, I guess, just getting rid of all the things I'd collected, and I really haven't had much bandwidth in my head or in my physical space for new undertakings. Um, I've had a huge list of things to do to get my shack built and my renters rented and you know all that stuff so although it doesn't sound like much it that really represented kind of this new phase to me was being able to take time and some money and focus on some new hobbies and trying to develop some new skills and passions and um yeah so that felt really cool because i have i've been not letting myself as you've heard me talk about the sailboat i've been not letting myself um take on anything new in the interest of sort of clearing my plate from the last phase of my life, as it were. So anyways, that's been real rewarding and really good to get here. And so now on to the best part of my week, um, which is yesterday tackling my brickwork and my stove build. I was feeling really great to be getting that done and getting to that point um, already at this point in my summer. When the phone rang, and uh, it was just one of my, it's one of my dearest old friends from the Seattle side of the water, which we get those people once in a while out here, but I don't go over there, so I don't see them for a long time. And this dear friend was in town, and he's just a little older than me. I think he's 51. He said he was always going to turn 51 this August. Um, and he was here. He got back into racing BMX bikes, and he was here for the state BMX tour, and he's getting ready, he's he's only on his eighth or ninth race or something like that, and he's cleaning up the field, because when we were kids, he was pretty much the best BMX racer um, any of us ever knew. We all thought he was, you know, pro level when we were 20, and he's someone I spent a lot of time surfing with and having campfires with and playing guitars and just a dear 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 friend so he is in town he won his race and then he came over last night and gosh I'm getting choked up it, I, it meant so much to me so he came and, and spent hours with me yesterday and, and I learned about some friends that we lost in the last few years um, and that continues to happen my dog just fell in the pond <laughs> um, as we get older here, you know, that's going to happen more and more, and man, it really just drives home the idea, you know, one of my acquaintances that was a good friend of his and passed away recently through um, a lymphatic cancer, another one of our friends has the same thing, and uh, geez, it just illustrates how sick we all, our society is to me, these people are my age, and I'm now lost that I've heard about in the last few months, I've now lost three or four that I, um, you know, for the last few years that I wasn't aware of, but people who are close to me that I really... Anyways, I know you know that. I know you guys are struggling with your own illnesses and, and loved ones who are ill, so... Um, I just wanted to share that, um, that to me that really just drives home, you know, how important it is that we continue to seek our our best health now I guess you know we don't have much more time to live with inflammation and there's no reason to go through those days like that if you can help it I guess I don't know what I'm trying to say I just I just felt strongly affected by um, 
how precious life was by hearing about those friends and how important it is now to make these changes. And in some weird way, it, it just sort of affirmed um, some of the some of the um, you know the value of what I'm trying to say is sometimes it seems like like maybe I'm I'm focused too hard on the wrong things. Like maybe I wouldn't be that sick. I should let this go and go live my life. But but then I hear those things and I know that uh, that my life wouldn't be anywhere near as it would only be a fraction of 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 what it is if I were to go back down that road and succumb to all the inflammation and daily pain and you know so anyways that wasn't a very cohesive thought I apologize hopefully you guys get it <laughs> but yeah it was just so wonderful to see my dear friend as always and uh, told him I loved him when he left and yeah it was a good one so so that was great really just reinforces how important people are in our lives and our health and one of the best parts about that that's the part I didn't share the part that I really need to wrap it up one of the best parts about that visit was he shared with me he's slightly overweight he's you know our age 51 my age and uh, he shared with me the difficulties he'd been having how he'd lost 40 pounds in the last or maybe 20 pounds I remember what he said but in the last month or two he started counting calories and he was trying to I offered him food he didn't need it and he was trying to you know lose weight and he shared that with me and said he'd been working on that and how difficult it was but it was the right time and he felt a lot better and so I shared my journey he didn't know I'd been sick and um, and and what it helped me and he was really receptive and I know it would help him he's definitely suffering from the same things many of us did just that uh, what I think is our inability to process carbs as we get older you know, he just, he had all the symptoms, right? And we talked about joint pain and he had it all. So fingers crossed, you know, hopefully even if it's just a little bit of, uh, of, of, um, you know, giving him an inkling of what's possible and starting on that journey of, of that he might, you know, make some changes. <laughs> Boy, I'm not talking very well. Anyways, you guys know what I'm trying to say there too. I'm really hoping to have influenced him to, uh, to at least try something new. So and hopefully make a difference for the better for himself. So, really profound week for me, you guys. And uh, I'm getting ready to, as I said, go down tomorrow and hopefully turn on our boat and get that thing, check the lists, go through my checklist and, and then check her off my list and get that thing gone. So. Really looking forward to that. The day that happens, I'm going to, maybe not the very day, but I'm going to start making a plan and a schedule for some travel and things like that. I've been really kind of waiting to get that clear, and then I'm going to see about the next step, like I've been talking about. So current plan is to do some traveling to push my boundaries and test what's possible. Get myself out there into the world and see if I can stay close enough to this diet to operate, you know, at a good level out there in, in, in the world, away from my safe space here and my routine, which I know that routine is really important to me. The routine seems to be what keeps me stable. So to get out there on, you know, traveling around the world, um, without, you know, and, and when a routine is difficult to keep, I really wanted to see how that, what that does for me. Good morning, hummingbird. Can you guys see him? So, uh, yeah, that's, I think, coming up next, coming soon. So I can't wait. I've been sharing a whole lot of nothing here with you guys. And, um, honestly, I, I keep thinking maybe I'll stop doing this because I just get here and tell you about my week every week. And it seems quite mundane, but, uh, but I do hope to get into some experiences in the future that I can share with you folks that um, that hopefully might give you guys some some new insights and some new hope and and uh, we'll see. Um, so yeah, so that's my plan right now. I'm gonna push my boundaries. I think over the next year or so and uh, try and experience some new things and go see the world and and maybe try and do that in a new way for me 
you know, traveling, one of the biggest things is eating the foods and experiencing, you know, culture through food. Um, so I'm kind of wondering how that's all going to play out. I have high hopes. It seems like it could be um, not as big a deal as it is in my mind and also incredibly enjoyable um, if I go to the right places. <laughs> so... So anyways, I think that's enough for now, you guys. It's all about 6.35 here, so I've been talking for a while, so I'm going to get going on my day. I've got to go to town. Um, Sunday, I should rest, but I think I'm going to try and finish my stove project, and I'm off to work tomorrow, and then we'll see. But I'll be sure to share with you guys next week. I'll come back, and, and we'll do it again. So I hope you guys are having a great week. I really hope you're making some progress. As always, I continue to be so um, deeply touched by all your comments and support, you guys. Um, I, I thank you so much. I cannot tell you how much your support means to me. It continues to. I, it's, it's, I know I don't, and I don't participate that much back and forth once I leave these videos up, and I apologize for that. Um, but I love hearing from you. So thank you very much for all your support and comments, and I hope you guys are, are doing great, staying the course, making some progress. Um, please let me know if there's anything I can help you with, or let me know if there's stuff I've missed that's coming uh, down the pipe in the zero carb world. I, I've been out of the loop, so um, if there's anything interesting that I'm missing, keep me posted. One thing, well, I'll come back to, to that next week. It's time to go. So um, I'm gonna keep trying to, to find what works best for me and keep teasing out the details. I hope you guys are doing the same and I hope you're doing great. Have a great week, you guys, and uh, I'll check in with you and see you next week. All right. Thanks so much as always for listening and watching. See ya. <laughs>